Application updates are generally needed to fix compatibility issues or fix security issues, but as a downside, they have an impact on boot up speed and system resource usage. So in this video, I'll be showing you what difference it has been from when Windows 7 was first released to what it's like nowadays. On boot up speed and the speed it takes to well boot up and then open the browser and start surfing the internet. So on the top left hand side, I have a virtual machine of Windows 7 from when it was first installed out of the box. No updates have been done and no applications have been installed. On the top right hand side, we have Windows 7 Service Pack 1 with all updates done up to and including December 2013's updates. There's also been a few applications installed as well and quite a bit of data usage across the disk. But generally, these two machines actually have the same resource usage. Both are virtual machines, they both have quad core, and they're both running off a sort of solid state disk. I say sort of because VirtualBox doesn't really treat it as a solid state disk and doesn't go as fast as one in real life. On the bottom left hand side, we have Ubuntu 9.10. This was released about the same time as Windows 7 was. And on the bottom right hand side, we have Ubuntu 13.10, with all updates done up until and including December 2013 up to the 18th of December. So let's see how long it takes to get the system booted up and open up the browser. On your marks, get set, go! All these systems were booted up individually and have been merged together on a single video. So in first place we have Ubuntu 9.10 with 18.51 seconds. In second place, Ubuntu 13.10 with 20.55 seconds. Not actually too much of a difference there between the two systems, although Ubuntu did get quicker during the 10 point release. In third place we have Windows 7 pre the updates at 29.86 seconds. And now we've got to wait a little while for the post updates Windows 7 to complete. Now I chose Ubuntu 13.10 rather than 12.04.3 because actually 13.10 was slightly slower. And coming in long behind anything else we have Windows 7 Service Pack 1 with all the updates at 1 minute 4 seconds and 0.59. Wow what a difference that has been with pre and post updates. Now you might say, well yeah, my own system boots up a whole lot quicker, it doesn't even take 30 seconds in Windows 7. But this is relative. The fact is, it's more than doubled the speed. And we're going to see a similar thing with Windows 8. Oh yeah, it's nice and fast now. But in a few years time, it's going to take twice as long to boot up. And in fact, in reality, it's more than twice as long because this virtual machine has minimal applications. I would say it's more than like three to four times as long, probably if not even more than that. Depends how much bloatware and pointless applications you have on your system. There you are. A little look at what updating does for us. Thanks for watching. See you later.